Hello everybody, my name is John Pace and welcome. Uh, we're going to be uh, comparing two different lenses for the Micro Four Thirds system. Uh, the Sigma uh, 30 millimeter f1.4 DCDN and we're going to be putting it up against this uh, awesome uh, Olympus 25 millimeter f1.2 lens. And I'll talk about them a little bit and then we'll go ahead and uh, look at the results of our tests which will be starring uh, myself, for lack of a better model. The first thing I want to touch on is the lens hood. Um, the lens hood on the uh, 25mm f1.2 Olympus locks on very securely, and it's not going to come off by mistake. And when you're changing lenses, if you leave the lens hood in position, it's very important you're able to grab onto the lens twist the lens off the camera without just ending up with the lens hood in your hand and the lens is still attached to the camera. Um, like I said, it's uh, all metal construction except I believe that uh, the back here may be made of plastic but the, uh, the, the uh, mount is definitely uh, metal and it's a very nice finish. It's uh, quite a, a, hefty, a hefty lens and one unique thing about it is that it has the clutch manual focus so you can uh, pull the ring down and now you're able to have full stops from infinity until the closest focus and it also has more drag and it also has a depth of field scale but it might be a little bit small uh, to be very useful. I, I haven't used it in any case since I usually use uh, um, autofocus. Moving on to the Sigma, most of you should already be familiar with Sigma from their art series. Um, almost every one of their art lenses is uh, phenomenal. And so many people, when the uh, DCDN lenses were announced, um, the DCDN line is uh, aimed at uh, amateurs more. Uh, so uh, many people maybe questioned whether it would still be of the same high quality as the art lenses. Um, but um, it actually uh, turns out to have one of the uh, best uh, resolution scores uh, of any Micro Four Thirds lens, and certainly in its class. Um, let's talk about that for a minute. The uh, Olympus here, this enormous hunk of metal and glass, um, which is the first uh, Olympus, I believe, the first uh, one, F1.2 lens uh, to come out in their um, in their system costs uh, $1,200, whereas the 30 millimeter f1.4 Sigma um, is uh, just around $300, so a $900 difference in price. So we wanted to see whether these two lenses of similar focal length and similar aperture fastness, uh, how they compared. Uh, would the Sigma be significantly worse than the Olympus? Um, so, anyway, uh, going back to the build quality again, the uh, Sigma uh, lens is uh, substantially lighter than the Olympus. It is definitely uh, like all plastic build. It's very light. Um, there is no manual clutch mechanism and the lens hood, which I mentioned earlier, which on the Olympus is uh, very well made. It locks on. It's not going to come off accidentally. And when you change lenses, you can grab, actually grab the uh, lens by the lens hood and turn the lens and remove it. Whereas with this lens, uh, the Sigma, if you grab it, um, it will just come off extremely easily. And it has uh, fallen off at least once since I've owned it by mistake. Um, so not the best design, but uh, maybe, uh, maybe not a big uh, problem, but uh, it may be something to think about. Anyway, 
Uh, let's have a look at our tests and uh, see how the two lenses compare. We're shooting with the uh, Sigma at f2.5. Uh, We're shooting with the Olympus at 2.5. Now we're shooting with the Sigma at f2.8. Uh, we're shooting with the Olympus at f2.8. We're recording with the Sigma at f3.5. We're shooting with the Olympus at f3.5. Sigma 2.5. We're shooting with the Olympus at f2.2. Sigma f5. Olympus 5. Sigma 4. Olympus f4. Sigma 4.5, Olympus 4.5, Sigma 2.2, 2. Olympus 2.2, 2. Sigma 2.2, 2. Olympus F2, Sigma 2-2, two, two. Olympus F2, Sigma 2-5, Olympus 2-2, two, two.